Processing Honey and the Hourglass Method The day you harvest the honey is also the best time for processing it because the honey will still be warm in the cells. Remove any sections of pollen cells from the comb by using a knife. Cut along the boundary where the pollen cells meet the honey cells. You can identify the pollen cells by supporting and gently tilting the comb into the light. If you process the honeycomb with lots of pollen, your honey will turn out cloudy. The pollen can be harvested from the cells and is stored in a cool, dry place. Pollen is a healthy supplement. One of the unique aspects of the top bar hive is that it makes comb honey easy to acquire. The majority of honey today is produced for extraction, making comb honey a rare treat. The combs from a top bar can be simply cut into squares, or a cookie cutter can be used to make nice round shapes. For a small single comb harvesting, you can use the hourglass method. Using a knife, cut the comb from the top bar into a bowl. It is important to leave a bit of the comb pattern on the top bar so the bees have a nice base to start rebuilding when this bar is returned to the hive. In the bowl, we start by slicing the cells off of the base foundation. This will ensure that each cell has been opened and the honey will easily flow out. Continue until the mixture is smooth and liquid. Next, take a quart-sized, wide mouth mason jar and some mosquito netting. Screw this netting under the lid rim of one of the jars so it hangs loosely. Moisten the screen netting so the honey can flow more smoothly. Fill a second jar with the honeycomb mash. Screw the rim on the second jar. Then secure it with tape to the rim of the first jar. Flip the jars over, like an hourglass. Set it in the sun or a warm place and watch the glistening golden honey flow. Remember that the majority of the honey will be harvested in the spring. In the spring, when you harvest larger quantities of honey, you will want to use a bucket or large bowl to strain the honey from the wax. To do this, drape a fine mesh over a five gallon bucket after mashing up the honeycomb. Then secure this meshing around the rim of the bucket with a bungee cord or duct tape. Next, pour the honey wax mixture on top of the screen and cover with a lid. Now you can put this mixture in a warm place and the honey will filter out into the bucket, leaving behind the wax. You can use a large bowl for one or two combs. The mash is put into a strainer and the honey will flow. Once the honey has been strained out, you can chew this honey saturated wax. Now the only thing left to do is fill your jars with honey and share them with your friends and family. <laughs>